Hi, my name is Heisley Lewison, and I am a clinical research analyst with PFS Clinical. I work closely with our clients, which include dedicated research sites, academic medical centers, and major medical centers to provide core services such as coverage analysis, budget development and negotiations, and clinical trial management system study builds. In my role, I especially enjoy performing and teaching financial operations within clinical trial management systems, which is what I'd like to discuss with you today. My goal in this webinar is to provide you with an overview of the benefits of using a clinical trial management system, referred to here on out as CTMS. We will define what a CTMS is, discuss a few of the ways a CTMS can help you with financials, and why a CTMS might be something to consider to help you streamline your research. So let's begin by defining what a CTMS is. A CTMS, at its most basic level, is software used to manage data associated with clinical research trials that allows for easy patient, project, and financial management. CTMS provides a centralized place for all data to be kept and allows for the easy retrieval and analysis of that data. The software is used to manage aspects of a clinical trial, from tracking and scheduling patients to billing and reporting. I've seen this software utilized in a variety of platforms. Most commonly, it tends to be web-based. This allows for the easy retrieval of information and also makes it widely accessible. Institutions may also have their own servers to run this software. It all depends on institutional need and feasibility. One of the features I see institutions using on a day-to-day -day basis in CTMS is the integration of the protocol schedule of events. The transfer of the protocol schedule events into the CTMS involves adding all of the protocol required items and services. When adding the protocol required items, you're able to create a searchable library to store all of these items in. This is extremely beneficial to maintain consistency in billing throughout each clinical trial you perform and allows for the quick retrieval of common items utilized at your institution for future studies you enter into the CTMS. By inputting your protocol schedule of events into the CTMS, you'll streamline your workflow and can use the calendar to schedule and monitor patients as they progress through your institution's trials. It allows for easy collaboration and communication between multiple departments as your information will be stored in one central, secure location. With the advantages of improved workflow and centralization that come with using a CTMS, your PIs and coordinators will be able to focus less on administrative activities and more on patient care. Your staff will spend less time manually entering data into multiple locations, which reduces the potential for mistakes to be made. As the name implies, a clinical trial management system can help you manage not only your protocol schedule of events, but your study documents as well. You'll be able to see all of your study-related documents in one central location, which can assist you to identify missing documents, simplify document review and approval, and to allow for easy synchronization of documents across institutions during the trial. This centralized location eliminates any paper trail or delay in receiving the most up-to-date information, which will save you time and money. Having all of your study documents in one central location will allow for your institution's research data to be more accessible and organized when providing to the sponsors and CROs. Additionally, a CTMS would allow you to restrict permissions depending on study involvement and require a secure logon to even access the CTMS. This added security holds staff accountable and keeps your information secure. This will allow for your institution's research data to be more accessible and organized when providing them to sponsors and CROs. This could lead to increased trust and outcomes with sponsors and CROs due to the accuracy and delivery of your data. Another important aspect that a CTMS can help with is clinical trial billing. The software allows for the management of the charges and can assist you in limiting the potential for noncompliance. For institutions that utilize a Medicare coverage analysis, a CTMS allows you to input the coverage analysis designations and modifiers directly into the system. So you can segregate items that would be billed to the patient's insurance versus to the sponsor or CRO. 
In my experience, having a thorough coverage analysis has really helped the clients that I work with and is an effective way to ensure billing compliance. When incorporating a coverage analysis into CTMS correctly, it can provide the basis for streamlined budget development and negotiations with the study sponsor. CTMS can be used to house standard administrative fees as well, such as study, laboratory, and pharmacy startup and closeout. It can be beneficial to have these costs entered into the CTMS to ensure you've received payment or to identify if there are any outstanding payments. This can also be a great way to perform budget reconciliation in one location. In my experience, it's very easy for institutions to track payments received in CTMS. This will save your staff time and keep your financial documents very organized. In the CTMS, you can also very closely track and generate real-time financial reports. You can use the software to identify what financial activities still need to be performed in addition to utilizing reporting features to help recognize financial pitfalls. This will allow for institutions to further define process improvement policies. A simple example to illustrate this point is using reporting features to ensure your institution is receiving timely payments for services performed under a given trial. Many of the CTMS systems available are also able to interface with EHR and EDC software which makes for easy integration of data between multiple systems. For example, a study and its protocol schedule of events can be sent from a CTMS to the EHR. Once in the EHR, many of the same benefits of utilizing a CTMS will carry through to the EHR. This includes what we previously discussed regarding the protocol schedule of events. Given what you now know about CTMS and a few of its uses, a CTMS may be something to consider if you're looking to increase and streamline research operations, reduce human error, and easily view all data involved with your research. Before selecting a CTMS, there are a few things you'll want to consider. You'll want to think about how your data is currently managed. Is everything done on paper, or do you have a CTMS that was previously implemented, but you are underutilizing it? You'll want to closely consider and understand the system before deciding to implement it. You'll want to look into the specific needs of your institution, how much your budget allows for, and how you would institute this change. For example, identifying your key personnel to be part of a steering committee would be very beneficial. Consider that there will be a learning curve and it will be important to implement adequate training for staff members. In conclusion, if you're looking to improve operational efficiency, alleviate potential administrative responsibilities from your clinical trial staff, and use reporting features for your financial benefit, then a CTMS may be a great fit for you. The integration of the protocol schedule of events directly into the CTMS will provide your institution with improved outcomes in billing and patient tracking. If this is something your institution is considering, feel free to reach out to us by using the contact information on this slide. We would love to hear from you to answer your questions and provide assistance in any way that we can. Thank you for listening in on this webinar today and have a great day.